Oh, they're going to get my back to the floor, Keep on saying hello, though, because they need to listen to you. Right. Keep saying hello, because they're listening out for you. Hello? Subject to this Act, who deserts, shall be liable to imprisonment or any less punishment authorised by this Act. A person convicted of desertion shall, except so far as the court or officer by whom he is tried, or the defence counsel may otherwise direct, forfeit all pay, bounty, salvage and allowances earned by him, all annuities, pensions and gratuities granted to him, and all clothes and effects left by him on board his ship or at his place of duty. On caps, stand at ease, stand easy, square cap off. Attention. HMSR Royal Punishment Warrant number 28. This is a warrant by Captain Wilfred Jackson Graham, Royal Navy, of Her Majesty Ship Ark Royal. Whereas it has been represented to me that James Forbes Cunningham. One piece forward, march off cap. Service number D133293A, rating steward of Her Majesty's Ship Ark Royal, being a person subject to the Naval Discipline Act 1957, did on the 28th of April 1976 desert from Her Majesty's Ship well, Everything I've done, jump ship to try and get home, with the wife mainly, and all this stuff, it's just been a waste of time and I've just got myself into more trouble and probably more debt. I find him guilty of the charge. Signed W. J. Graham, Captain Royal Navy, dated 6th July 1976. Name's Craig. Uh, can't exactly remember the time it was born. I know it's six pounds and seven ounces. I've had a piece of paper. I don't know. I've left it in my locker. I've got a letter from her today, like you know, tell me all this. I do hereby sentence him, the said James Fall Cunningham, to be kept in detention at the Royal Naval Detention Quarters of Portsmouth for a period of 42 days. Signed, W.J. Graham. In a sense, I'm feeling 
good. I only got 42 days. It could have been worse. But then again, if 42 days, I'm going to be, uh, well, away from my wife again. <laughs> so in fact, it was just a waste of time. On that cap. March off those queues, please. One page step back. Watch. Left turn. Watch. Decided to do it my way, you know. Work my way to get home. To get a ticket for a plane and get on home. It was the main reason. Well, I got in, you know, got involved with some some people. They decided they'd help me out at first, you know. So I took their word for it, you know. Then I, I realised after it, I was getting seen off in a sense, like you know, they were just taking them what money I had, you know. So I decided to go on my own, left them, and started working as a chef, you know, in Chattanooga Choo Choo, and uh, you know, just started making money there. Things happened after that, you know. People start the people I was staying with at first started threatening, you know, to get me picked up, you know, so that I couldn't get home, so that I'd be back on board, you know. So I had to move places and then stay with I got a friend there, he lent me his car, you know. He used to lend me it to go to work, you know, to get back and forward, to save money. He used to help me out with my hotel bill and uh, things were working out then, and then one day driving along the road and I was in a car accident. I never got any injuries or nothing. I was lucky on that. And then the police picked me up, so they threw me in jail. OK, I'm just coming up there, we out. <laughs> OK, there's his key. Right. You read the rules, have you? Yeah. And I paid particular attention to five there. Yeah. OK, because that was picked up the other night. And also visitors. OK, and don't forget, enter in the book that you've read and understand your orders. And I, just before uh, I give you the medals, just like to think of the, of the words which describe what the award is, the Naval Long Service and Good Conduct Medal. Service. Once again, service is something which is pretty unfashionable today, and people often think that service is infra dig and something which they don't like to perform. I personally think that service is one of the, the finest things that uh, man can do to man is render him good service. And in your case, you have rendered service to your fellow men in the ships where you've been serving, and you've rendered service to your queen and country. Because that's what it's all about. That's what being in the Navy is about, is providing a service for your country. Conduct, I believe, in this case means your behavior, your bearing, and your example. And you have all set a thoroughly good example to your fellows and your juniors. The medal, of course, is an outward and visible sign presented to you by the Queen, and I'm very happy to present the medal on her behalf, and I hope that you will be proud to wear it. We've all these bleeding David hands, they've never done me one. And while they're in the pledge, just spare a thought for me. I'm one of your green bastards that takes you to see.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The large vessel at the breakwater really needs no introduction. This is HMS Ark Royal, the most powerful ship in the Royal Navy. She is returning to Plymouth after five and a half months at sea. She has visited the Mediterranean and United States of America, calling at Puerto Rico, Fort Lauderdale, Norfolk, Virginia, and Florida. In Norfolk, Virginia, President Ford's daughter Susan visited the ship. Since she left Devonport in February, the Ark Royal has covered 38,000 miles. 2,000 aircraft sorties have been launched by catapult, and 2,900 sorties have flown. Some very interesting incidents have happened. They rescued one gentleman from the submarine, who seemed to have been in it for a Thank you. 